Hi guys, um, I just wanted to do like a video more on the mental health side because I feel like it's been a long time since I've done anything remotely mental health related. Today I'm going to do a video on my CAMS experience, but not kind of, not just my CAMS experience, but before I go into CAMS I'll kind of tell you about the help I had before CAMS because I didn't go straight into CAMS um, for reasons I'll tell you about in a second. I got into the mental health system five years ago. Um, it's been half a decade, it's been a long ass time, and I don't think I'm much better. <laughs> I ended up going to see the GP because my mum saw cuts on my arm. Uh, so she took me to the GP, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? Sent me to see a psychiatrist, went to see the psychiatrist. I think it was the GP that said you can either go to CAMS or private so she went well how long will it be CAMS being CAMS oh, I'll be months and months so I went to see a private psychiatrist so I'm pretty sure it was the GP that said do you want to go to CAMS or see a private psychiatrist not the psychiatrist that said do you want to go to CAMS or see a private person but I can't really remember it might have been both who knows um so I went to the psychiatrist he said there's not an awful lot wrong with her I think she just needs someone to let off steam to so again maybe you do want to see cams, do you want to see someone privately or whatever. Um, we ended up going private. I saw a therapist, I started seeing her. So I started seeing her in like April, May kind of 2011. So yes, yeah, quite a long time ago. And I saw her 2011. 2012-2013 I got discharged was it 2013 I got discharged? I can't remember, I think it was 2013 I got discharged in the summer so like June, July because I can't remember if I took an overdose or if I just wasn't doing very well but the therapist basically said there's not an awful lot more I can do for you I've been seeing you for a long time I don't know what to do and without any referral to cams or anything discharge me Sorry, this is a bit all over the place. It's been a long time, so I kind of forget what happened when. Um, so, 2011. In August of 2011, so I started seeing this therapist in, like, April, May. So, August of 2011, I took a tiny, tiny overdose. So, I ended up being actually referred to CAMS while I was still seeing this this therapist. Just, I can't, I think it was, like, an assessment or something. I can't really remember. Um, yeah, so... I went to CCAMS, I met with this woman who assessed me, she was a family therapist and honestly to this day I've never met anyone that I didn't get on with more, like I actually haven't and I've met a lot of people being impatient, I've met a lot of staff that I don't get on with. So I met this woman, we'll call her C, um, so I was seeing her as family work not individual work for a fair amount of time, I think it was maybe a couple of months, and we'd all just end up in a big argument and then we'd leave. And it wasn't productive at all. So that was good. <laughs> so I eventually left there. She said, I remember she said something like, um, I, feel, I don't think we're getting on very well, I don't think we're doing very well, do you want to just continue seeing your therapist and leave it at that? So that's what we did. Um, so after that, I continued to see the, the therapist, the private therapist, for like a year and a half more. Um, so then we got to summer of 2013, about June, um, and I get discharged from seeing this private therapist. I don't, I can't remember if I went to a therapist um, to a GP and got referred. I'm pretty sure I did, but they referred me to Cams, who honestly were not helpful in any way so I get referred to CAMS um, I get referred to CAMS and I see this psychiatrist I see him maybe once every month, month and a half he puts me on medication um, he put me on medication Ooh, this time it was about Christmas 2000 13? Yeah. Christmas 2013, I think. Um, 
and I was still like posting my mood. I did that um, my polar tendencies video kind of thing. I think that was around that time. Um, so I get put on medication. I'm seeing him every maybe month and a half, and shit's just getting worse. I'm losing a shit ton of weight. I'm really depressed. I'm not happy. I'm not functioning. Um, and so yeah. So we get to like just before my exams. So my exams, the GCSE exams, were in the summer of 2014, so May, June. About January, shit's going pear-shaped. So I'm seeing, I keep going up to student support at school, I keep talking to the woman up there. Um, she's lovely, she actually came to visit me when I was inpatient in hospital. She's a lovely woman. Um, and then I start seeing the school um, school counsellor, who does nothing for me again. Didn't help me. We she, we didn't not get on, but we didn't click. There wasn't anything there. She couldn't really help me. I think I was a bit out of her league. She was just a school counsellor. I think she was more for exams and all that. Me with me forked up head. Um, not helping. Not good. So, then I actually stopped seeing her. And the woman at student support was really really lovely not the counsellor the woman that worked there she kept <laughs> i think she phoned cams a number of times and just said you need to do something this girl is struggling this girl is not okay this girl is really in danger of herself you need to do something and they didn't um and then she said to me one of our students has been referred to the inpatient unit i went to i won't tell you the name for privacy obviously um, when our students got referred here. So I went, oh, okay, cool. She went, go to your GP, tell them about it. So I did. I went to my GP, I said, um, have you heard of this place? What can I do? Is there any way you can refer me there? Just for a bit of support, specialist and that. Um, and they went, you can't do that, you need to do it through camps. So a month later, I'm talking to my psychiatrist. Um, hey, listen, um, my school told me about this unit. Is there any way you can help me out? And he went, Oh, we can't do that. I was like, well, okay, well, okay. So then I went back to my GP. Oh, we can't, we need to go through camps. I was like, what do I do? So I actually can't remember who it was that referred me there, but I remember being passed back and forth quite a few times because that's the system. So eventually I'm getting, I get referred to this unit. I've done all my exams, it's now summer. Summer was really bad for me, 2014, the actual summer holiday was really really bad I was really poorly I was losing a lot of weight very fast I was not eating enough um yeah so some so oh sorry so it gets to August of 2014 and I had my initial appointment my initial assessment with the unit I eventually got referred there and I cannot remember for the life of me who it was I, I apologize um so I got assessed, weighed, they went, the weight you're at, we don't want you to start college, which was a month after September, we don't want you to start college, and I was like, well I'm not going to not go to college, that's ridiculous, I have to do something, so I kept going, so I did go to college, and they said, at the weight you're at, you can walk up a flight of stairs and have a cardiac arrest, and I was like, great, that's cool, so they tried to sort out part time, and they actually did get me Wednesdays off, so the whole, the college moved sorted all the timetables out of all of our year so that I could have Wednesdays off, which was incredible. Um, and then, obviously, you've seen, if you haven't seen the videos, the videos from this time I was making, not frequently, but reasonably frequently to keep you updated. Um, so then, I continued to lose weight, and they said, look, we're looking at an inpatient admission, if you lose any more weight, obviously I did. Um, so I got admitted September, 2014, the woman, the person's bed I was supposed to be getting, the girl's bed, she didn't get discharged, she didn't go to her meetings, so I actually ended up going 7.30 to 7.30 for a month, and then in October I finally got a bed, and I was there seven months. Now, that inpatient unit was, it was good in the fact that they had like an eating disorder service, they were very rigid, you were not going off your meal plan there was no leeway but they were very bad because there was no leeway like so 
fair. First few months it was fine, my meal plan kept going up because my metabolism was very high. Um, there wasn't an awful lot of kicking off. I, I'm quite a feisty person, so I did have the occasional row with people. Not really with other patients, I had maybe two or three with another patient, with a couple of other patients, but not very often, and they weren't big rows. Um, but me and staff did lock heads quite a lot because I am quite a feisty person. Obviously I wasn't very well either, so anything to do with food, I was like biting people's heads off. So yeah, so then it get it got to like March time, and if you haven't seen the videos, I encourage you to go back and watch them if you want to kind of find out about this position. Because I was in a weird position where my body couldn't stomach any more than it was already eating. It couldn't stomach what it was already eating and I wasn't gaining weight. So they wanted to give me a meal plan increase because that's very textbook. That's what you do when someone doesn't gain weight. You put them on a meal plan increase. And I agreed with them and said, look, yeah, I, ha I do need that, but I can't stomach it. It's not going to happen. So then I got discharged as a result of that. I became day patient. And then... Obviously, like I've just said in my little mini update, I became day patient and then I got discharged. And I was outpatient for a, fit, a few months. Yeah. So inpatient did help me. It made me gain a lot of weight. But then it also, I feel like with a lot of people, you don't under, you don't realise how dependent you become on hospital. Um... So obviously I was there for seven months, so like I depended on that support. And even now a little bit, I don't have that support and it's really difficult because, you know, you kind of crave it, you crave that support, especially when you're not like 100% better, which nobody really is. Um, so yeah, they did help me, but they also present, it also, well, they didn't, but the hospital kind of presented that problem. Um, and then in... November I got assessed for um, adult services and in January I was discharged from the CAMS unit and um, moved over to adult services and now I'm there. Overall for CAMS I would say that their support, <sighs> once you're in the system and you are getting the support, you're golden. However, getting into the system and actually getting the support to start with is incredibly difficult um, so I was on the waiting list for I don't know six or seven months before I even got to see a psychiatrist at CAMS from when I was discharged I know my dates don't really add up I'm fully aware of that I just I can't remember the exact date so I'm kind of assuming but I know the kind of time periods um, so yeah I was waiting like six or seven months to see anyone at CAMS um, when I got discharged from um, my private therapist and I just went down a very slippery slope and then I saw CAMS and I was already on the slippery slope but I just kept going till I got to inpatient um, but yeah the support is there but actually getting it is very difficult another thing I realised is the CAMS teams at hospitals at general if you take an overdose you go because you're not safe or something like that are not helpful um, so that's my kind of CAMS experience and a little bit extra on the side. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Um, I do look through my comments, not regularly, but kind of every couple of weeks. Because I find that a lot of times people will leave comments and I don't actually get a notification for them. If you guys um, have any video requests, always leave them down below. Um, like and subscribe if you like this video. Um videos that are liked I know to do more of them so I've been doing more kind of hair videos and things because those videos get a lot of likes so things like that so it's not just me that makes all the big decisions um yeah so um thanks for watching and I'll see you later bye We got to summer of June.
感じそのうち。